ever hang a picture and find that the TV doesn't work anymore? It's a more common problem than you think. It's really easy to drive that nail through the coax. And if you sit tight, we'll go right through it and figure out how to fix it properly. no one actually drives a nail through the cable on purpose but if it ever happens just pull the nail out and you'll find that the center conductor may not have been cut but you can't take a chance just using pliers cut it right down the middle where the hole is Make sure that your knife is really sharp because uh, we're going to be cutting the sheathing off the cable. So just putting the knife on it and then rolling the cable back and forth a couple of times will just cut the plastic off and leave leaving the sheathing behind. And just do the same procedure to the other half of the cable. Now you've got to pull back the sheathing and you can expose the uh, foiled portion of the inner cable and we'll be removing that part as well. Just roll it again with the knife You'll feel when you're down to the center conductor, and then you can just pull it off. Same thing for the other one. Make sure you've got all little broken pieces pulled off. You don't want any short circuits. And then you can trim off the excess. We're going to be soldering this in a, in a minute, so we don't really need tons of, of uh, copper wire sticking out. So we're going to need a couple of pieces of shrink wrap. And um, this is for the outer, so one's a little bit shorter than the other. Uh, in the video here I show that I've cut two of the smaller ones. In reality I only needed to cut one. So we're going to slide the longer of the two large shrinks down in first, followed by the smaller one. So putting on the small shrink, you have to be careful just to slide it through without breaking too many of those fine strand wires. The next thing is to tin the center lead of the cable and uh, I use resin core solder just to make sure that it has a very good bond. I knock off the excess from the last one just so that I can have fresh uh, resin to, to uh, fix them up together. You can use something to hold these together as you solder them or if you can have a steady enough hand you can hand solder them 
make sure the connection is very tight. Visually inspect it to make sure that you've got a solder uh, seal around both wires. What I forgot to do earlier was to remove that uh, tin foil on uh, each of the inner conductors. So uh, you want to take off all of that, that uh, tin foil. Now we're going to slide the smaller shrink over the center uh, conductor wire and make sure that all of the braiding is out. There should be no braiding on the inside of that shrink tube. Using the soldering iron, I just move it back and forth on it and it shrinks it right up nice and tight. You don't want to linger in one spot because you'll end up burning it. But if you just slide it along, uh, it'll tighten up nice and you'll have a good solid uh, shrink connection. Now with the shrink on, you're going to take those strands and wrap them all together. And then using your secret weapon, a piece of tin foil, just wrap it nice and tight. And then tear off some excess. With the aluminum foil on and wrap tightly, then we're going to put the smaller of the two large shrink wraps over it. Try not to peel back the tin foil as you go. And then using the soldering iron, do the same procedure as the earlier one. Now pull the second shrink wrap over the first and using the soldering iron just shrink that down nice and tight. And your job is just about done. So here we've got a nice solid piece of cable just like it was brand new. Last thing you have to do is just check for continuity. You want to make sure those center pins are actually connected together. There we've got nice continuity on that. And center pin to outside, no connection. And outside to outside, good connection. So that's perfect cable. There's the final product. Good as new. Ready to be put back in the wall. And your TV signal will come through without any loss or degradation whatsoever. Hi, I'm Ron, the Free Fix-It Guy. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe and click the like button. If you'd like to give any comments, please leave them below. I look forward to any comments you might have and possible repairs that you'd like to see done. So until next time, if it breaks, just fix it. We'll see you next time.